Uh, I actually do need to play Uncharted 4, funny enough. It's uh, pretty... It's still per I, I still... I give it like a, like a 7 out of 10. That's a really like... Well, what's your average? I mean, average for me would be like a five out of ten. Like I, like I really? do. I, I feel like I do ratings that many people would not like. You know, I don't, I don't do like the IGN ratings and everything. Like my average is a seven. Like this game, I'd give it like a six out of ten. You are so bugging, bro. <laughs> That's the worst opinion I've heard in a and long time. And I like time. this game a lot. No, you don't. Not a six out of ten. But no, like that's unless the you're just judging it critically without like no, no. But that's the thing, right? Like people hear six out of ten, they think it's like a failing score. You know, they think it's like a fucking, they think it's like a failing score, but it's not. It's you know, it's all that to say that I, you know what? You don't need to bring the watermelon. You could ground pound in front of those guys and then throw them at the button. You remember? You did not do that. I didn't, but that's that's what like I'm here again, and because I was fucking up on the section for like. You know, days, Ten years, brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I was going back and forth with the goddamn. Okay, it didn't work, John Hub. Okay, you didn't throw him far enough, though. So, oh, oh, so it's my fault, huh? Yeah. I didn't. This guy I'm sucks. You. It will work, by the way. Yeah, um, sure. No, I guess that's you know, I guess that's that's I gotta come clean about my rating system and everything. I. I, I'm I'm very I feel like I'm one of those fucking unfair ass teachers that's very reluctant to give like a perfect score, you know? Yeah, I th I think you are. You're I wrong love in giving that. nine out of tens. That's what I'll say. What? I love giving nine out of tens. I love being like I want to give this game a ten, but I I just didn't like this one thing about you know. What's your what's your so what's your most recent nine out of ten? My most recent Fuck. 9 out of 10. Because that's the thing. Because a lot of my 9 out of 10s, I'll be like, it might be a 10, though, bro. I don't know. One one game I'm on the fence about okay. that just comes to mind immediately is um, Ghost of Tsushima. Um, 6 out of 10. What? <laughs> what? I won't back down from that opinion either. Why? I'm not a big fan of it. For what reasons? Um, I think the story is weak. No! I don't like Jin Sakai as a <laughs> protagonist. I cry in front I of don't, you. I don't like the side characters that much. They're they're fairly uninteresting to me. That's the side crazy. content is good, but That's only crazy. the theme side content, like the like the like the legendary <gasps> items or whatever, but all of it sort of follows the same the same method. Mm -hmm. um, the coolest part about the game is the fucking samurai one-on-one -on -one fights, and even then, it's just they're pretty repetitive because there's so many of them. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's somewhere around like 18 in the game. I could be wrong. That might be high. Now, what difficulty did you play on? I did play on normal or the one above normal. Okay. But I wouldn't play that on the hardest difficulty anyways because I feel like the combat being how it is would be... A level of unforgiving I don't want to interact with on the hardest difficulty. So here's the thing. They make it in the hardest difficulty so that it's, I mean, it's called lethal difficulty. They make it so that you um, take more damage from everyone, obviously. Everyone's like, the, you know, the AI is smarter. But also you do more damage. Okay. You actually feel like you're wielding a katana because you can like fucking two or three shot people. And it feels like really fucking good. I, I actually don't know what it feels like on lower difficulties because... You know, I haven't, I didn't play it on lower difficulties. Look, and that is cool to an extent. You yeah. Know, don't get me wrong. But, but I, th also, I think the game is literally, like, it feels like the definitive way to play the game, in my opinion. I don't know about that. It do. But it's hard, though, I will admit. But also, it's hard, but also you, you feel very justified, like, picking up every single collectible. Because some games, like, you have so much shit that you can pick up, you can do all the side quests and just, like, absolutely steamroll. I feel like I did, like, most, I did about... 50 to 60 percent of the side content leading up to the final battle and i still like kind of struggled a little bit really and i uh i appreciate that i, mean, I, I wish i had that. done more i don't know it just the game the game did not rub me the right way frankly i wasn't super excited about it before it came out i bought it on launch i played it fully mm -hmm. and like was it beautiful yes was it entertaining sure was it something i'm i've gone back to to play the Iki island dlc since no and I see, I see no reason why I would. See no reason why I would. Understandable. You know what? I'll, 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 I'll give you an understandable. What the fuck? Oh, that's Bikini Bottom. Mm. There we go. Navi oh, we did this last time. Or we? Nah, nah. Just, just like, just keep moving. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure it's like up ahead. 
I don't think it is. No, no, because remember what, what what happened is that we went to King Jellyfish and then we oh, went through you know, the. Oh, came back, yeah. Yeah, we went back. It's at the, the end of this. It's at the end of this, yeah. Good reminder. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> see, see, this is the this is the good thing about foresight. Could you imagine there's a Let's Play channel that would like practice every single game they played and the conversation topics before they. They made practice it to the conversation topics? No, no. Wouldn't that be crazy if someone, like, did that, like, just painstakingly, like, like wrote dialogue for the fucking scripted events in their Let's Play and everything? You like, know what's fully? crazy? People mm. do that. They, I'm I'm almost sure that that's not as uncommon as you think it is. I think that people will script, like, bits and stuff. People will have, like, discussion points. I'm saying, like, a full scripted, you know, 20-minute episode of a fucking SpongeBob Let's Play. No, I think they do that. I don't uh, think they script things like SpongeBob, SpongeBob. SpongeBob, SpongeBob. You know, that's which is why they don't do it. Patrick, Patrick. And also, there's a level of us. Fuck. There's a level of our there's a ad libbing. Of fuck. Uh -huh. That that can't be scripted. You know. That's true, but I think that's the case for a lot of other let's play. I I do think that some people do research before, and I think that some people who are doing like a more informative let's play where they're kind of giving uh, you know fun facts and stuff, they'll do that kind of stuff. But I. I would say there are zero let's plays that don't include at least a, a hefty amount of improvisation. Beca just based on how, uh, you know, simple the formula is, you know, yeah. how uh, it's, it's, you know, it's definitely lower effort than, you know, the videos that I was talking about at the, at the top of this recording and stuff making, you know, M far, far less editing. It's, it's really just, uh, Two friends talking Wait. in front of a damn vi Fuck. video game, you know? Which way do I go? Not this way. Oh, well, then I want to go this way because I want to get some shit. Well, how do you how do you feel now that you got some shit? I'm bad. <laughs> really? Yeah, I didn't get anything. Oh. So you got some shiny bits. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for me. Well, in I any event. I hope um, you find what you what you want in you, life. I won't. Did you play the Fallen, <laughs> did you play fallen Order? <laughs> Yeah, bro, same issue, bro. No, Fallen Order was great on the hardest difficulty. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was, Fall, was Fallen Order the um the sequel? No, Survivor was the sequel. No, Fallen Order is the same. Remember, you remember that? You are bugging. There was that. Um, that is actually no, no, no. I don't. I don't think it's fair. I I think there's some very unfair enemies, like the fucking lizard frog guy, like at, on the very first planet. And also, what? so here's here's another aspect of hardest difficulty games. Okay. Sometimes the very beginning of the game will be the fucking hardest part because, I mean, for one, you're you're getting used to the mechanics and stuff. Number two, you don't have the same amount of upgrades. Number two, you don't have like yeah, you don't have the fucking upgrades. You don't you have like fucking two HP and everything. You can go around. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you have like fucking two HP, and then everything like you know chunks the shit out of you if you don't have any like side stuff. So yeah, I think in that game. The very first planet is like the hardest part of the entire game. You, but Ogdo Bogdo is an optional encounter. But like, we all fought him, right? Yeah, but like, you, I don't think you can complain about the difficulty of the game for an optional encounter. Especially when the whole point of the game in its Metroidvania style is to be able to leave and come back later. I think that's disingenuous to the game. Well, like, what is the reason that Ogdo Bogdo is a hard boss, optionally? Is it because he's poorly designed, or is it because he's difficult? I think it's I think it's a mix of both. I don't think it's the best designed uh, enemy in any respect. I think the side content doesn't need as much polish as the main content, but you still need to be able to, like, you know, not get cheesed by, like, a really shitty hitbox that the, that the you know, the fucking frog guy rushes forward his entire body if you you know if you touch his fucking pinky toe when he's dashing in the opposite direction from you, you still you know take damage like uh, you know I, I i feel like that's i don't know i man. don't mind hard difficulty because i like the soul i love elden ring i love the souls games i love you know again ghost of tsushima on the hardest difficulty but but I feel like those games are all, you like know, fair. Yeah, as no, fa I, yeah, like I get fair. That. Like Dark Souls is fucking hard. Don't, don't get me wrong. There's some enemies that have some crazy like Dark attack patterns, but that's very intentional. Dark Souls one borders unfair, objectively. Mm -hmm. Um, as someone that's played. There's some, yeah. There's some pretty nonsense sections. Um, I think I think by by Dark Souls three they really got their stride though. Oh, 100 percent. Dark like, Souls three. When, yeah, when, I, when I say Dark Souls, I'm talking Sekiro. three. Um, Did you play Lies of P? I did not play Lies of P yet. That's actually something we should probably play on here. I'd be, I'd be down, bro. I have game pass. You'd, you'd have to down. play. Because that's the thing. I, 
again, I, I like the Souls games a lot. I'm not very good at them, to be honest. I like playing games on hard difficulty. I, I suck at the Souls games. No, I'm pretty lady at the Souls games, I think. Well, I'm, I'm I, like it is actually it. a franchise and games that I, I think I'm pretty good at. I think I would be down to see that. Um, In any event, no, uh, Fallen Order is not fucking unfair in terms of its difficulty on the hardest difficulty. Survivor, however, its sequel that came out this March, mm -hmm. that shit is unfair on the hardest difficulty. I, that's think, an, honestly, that, order, I think that's a... That's a that, I just, my review of Order is that it just feels really jank at certain parts. I, I don't disagree with that, but jank and blatantly unfair are two different things. But I just... There you go. And then now it's King Jelly. Yeah. I, I just... I really feel like... Like the jankness, because the jankness it shows more when you're playing on the hardest difficulty. Because you need to rely on the, on the gameplay. You need you need to you need to rely on the things that make the game the game. You know. Yeah. And when you rely on them, and then fucking Ogdo Bogdo's pinky toe fucking kills you, then that's not good. That's not a well designed game. It's down. I think it's down there. Yeah. And then it, it'll force you the other way. And then you have to. Yeah, there you go. I'm nice with it. Yeah. You are, aren't you? And then you have to talk to Squ Squidward, right? And then that's the last... Uh, yeah, it'll send me back. Spatula. I'm pretty sure you can just... Or does this just send you back to Squidward? I forget. It sends me back. To Squidward? No, it sends you to Jellyfish Rock, bro. Oh, yeah, back to Squidward at Jellyfish Rock. I'm going to populate <laughs> there right now. All right, let's see Squidward right here then. Sorry, my fault. <laughs> Uh, uh, what am I just uh, sucking off? SpongeBob, SpongeBob, <laughs> Patrick, yeah, I, uh, Patrick. Come on, man. Squidward, Squidward, Sandy, Sandy. Mr. Krabs, Mr. Mr. Krabs. King Neptune, Plankton. All right. All right. <laughs> Bye, everyone.